Hello guys, it's third unit part C. Urinary system. Due to increase in the blood volume, there is also increased in the kidney work. If blood is increased, then automatically kidney work will be increased. So that indicates GFR will be increasing 50 percentage. So when the blood is increased, when the kidney is working more, then the kidney size will also increase. So kidney size is increased by 1 or 1.5 centimeters in length. When the kidney is working more, then the urination frequency will also be increased. And urethra will be elongated and will get wider. Elongated in the sense in the length they will be a uh, bit more longer and in the wider they will get bit wider. And bladder. If the kidney is giving workload then the bladder will be working 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 and the muscles get weak. So bladder's muscle tone will be decreased in the sense bladder's muscle tone will be decreased or getting weak and there is a chance of getting edematous. Edematous in the sense swelling. This is about urinary system and next we are going to see the GI system. Now first is cavity. In cavity that is in the oral cavity the saliva which is secreted is generally more acidic. This more acidic there is a chance of causing tooth decay. Next gum. Gum is much sensitive than the normal and there is a chance of swelling and bleeding. And this gum sensitive is also due to the saliva is more acidic. Because of this, this gum also gets sensitive and there is a chance of swelling and bleeding. And when it comes to stomach and esophagus, there is a vomiting and poor appetite. Poor appetite in the sense the female doesn't feel hungerness. And vomiting sensation is frequently seen. And it is frequently seen in the morning and that is known as morning sickness. Morning sickness is a common sign and symptom seen in a pregnant woman. Next, digestion. Food passes slowly. In the sense, food doesn't digest fastly. Next, gastric reflex and a heartburn is seen. Uh, the food what they consume, there is a chance of reflecting out. That is nothing but vomiting sensation. Like, there is a chance of vomiting and vomiting sensation is continuously seen. And heartburn is also seen. This is about GI system. Next, we have skin changes linea nigra linea nigra is nothing but pigmented dark line there will be a dark line from where to where that is from umbilicus to sympathis pubis sympathis pubis is seen in the pubis pelvic region and umbilicus is the navel place if this is the uh, pelvic until here there is a dark line which is seen Okay, this is umbilicus and this is pelvic. That is linea nigra. Colasma. Colasma is nothing but brownish color. Uh, brown color dots or patchy like things that is seen in face and foreheads. Steria gravidarum. Stevia gravidarum is nothing but this stretch marks. Stretch marks will be like this. Like this lines which is seen in abdomen, thigh and breast. In this area, you can see like the stretch lines. After delivery, these lines get converted into white silver color and then that gets disappeared. Vascular spiders. This marks are like this. Like this dot and there will be lines like this. It looks like spider. These spider marks are generally red in color and they are seen in face, neck, arm and chest. In these reasons, vascular spiders can be seen in these regions vascular spiders can be seen and next palmar erythma and this is seen uh, in palms this region and it is in red in color here there will be red color uh, discoloration that can be seen and that is palmar erythma these are the skin changes that can be seen in the pregnant women's questions will be provided at the end of the chapter until then stay tuned meet you in the next video